the first two numericals are going to be based on Boyle's law. Boyle's law, temperature constant, right? So first two numericals in the question, they will be mentioning that the temperature being a constant. All right, uh, please read the question by yourself and we start with the data. Fine. All right, according to the data, can I say, I will, I'm going to always divide the sum into two cases. The gas under the condition 1 and the same gas under condition 2. Okay, according to the data, the pressure 1 is given as 740 mmHg. And you have been asked, at what volume will this pressure be occupied? Okay, so volume 1 is question mark. Pressure 2, they have given as 1480 mmHg. And they are, they've said that volume 2 is 1000 centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. And I have started, I have been told temperature being a constant. So therefore, at a constant temperature, okay, constant temperature according to Boyle's law. You need to write this. Boyle's law, the formula is V1 into P1 is equals to V2 into P2. Substitute 740 into V1, that was P1 V1, come on, is equals to V2 1000 into P2 which is 1480. A 740 goes down, you get V1 is 1000 into 1480 upon 740. Ones are twos are. So can I say the volume 1 is 2000 cc cubic centimeter. That's the first question for you all from Boyle's law. The second numerical. Temperature again constant. So I can say guys the second one again I'm gonna be in case 1 and case 2. Just look at the question. Read it carefully. The data is as follows. Case 1 and case 2 for the same gas. Alright, I have been told that the volume 1 is 850 ml milliliter and, and volume 2 is 75% of this. That means 75 upon 100 of this. Don't solve, it's a waste of time. Chuck. Pressure. Pressure 1 is 760 mmHg. You need to find out pressure 2. Right. This is how the question is. Alright. I can say temperature is a constant, students. Temperature is a constant. So if temperature is a constant, can I say according to the Boyle's law, according to Boyle's law, V1 into P1 is equal to P2V2. Perfect. Substitute, guys. Come on. 760 into 850 shouldn't be equal to P2 into 75 upon 100 into 850 again. The best part is both the areas 850 gets cancelled out. 25 3s are 25 4s are. I am interested in the pressure too. Cross multiply. 760 into 4 over 3. Perfect. Alright. Uh, does it go directly? No, it doesn't. First multiply. That's going to be 4, 24, 28 and 2, 30. 3040 0, 0 upon 3 is the pressure. And that answer is going to be 1013.3333 pressure is measured in pascals yep but out here it is mmHg atmospheric pressure so these are the two sums based on Boyle's law where temperature remains constant and the formula is P1 into V1 is equals to P2 into V2 the third numerical demands okay the data as follows with a constant pressure all right, the third one, pressure is a constant Charles law. So if you go through the pop-up sum, 
the data is as follows first case one gas under first condition gas under the second condition uh, I've been told that the volume is reduced by 20% so if the initial I will assume let the initial volume be 100 cc then can I say the final volume is reduced by 20% now there are two two propositions one of them can be reduced to 20% and second reduced by 20% if it is to 20% it's gonna be straight away 20% of 100 but nope nope it is reduced by 20% that means it was 100 it's reduced minus by how much 20% bloody 20% of whom 20% of 100 so this vanishes so I say V2 is equals to 80 cc and uh, find the initial temperature if the final temperature is 157 degrees Celsius which is not allowed whenever a degree Celsius is given instantaneously you're gonna convert it into Kelvin so 157 plus 273 Kelvin so 0 1 8 8 and 5 um, 13 so 430 Kelvin should be T2 can I say uh, gas is at a constant constant pressure so at a constant pressure it's given according to Charles law we have a formula v1 upon t1 is equals to v2 upon t2 substitute students 100 over t1 is 80 80 over 430 cancel cross multiply 4 3 0 0 is equals to 8 into t1 get the bloody 8 down 4300 over 8 is equals to T1. 8 5s are 40. Carry forward 3. 8 3s are 24. Carry forward 6. 8 7s are 56. Carry forward 4.5. So my answer is 537.5 degrees Celsius. Listen. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Kelvin, listen to me. If the question the original question is in degree Celsius. So my final answer 2 will be in degree Celsius. So now you subtract. So the temperature is 537.5 minus 273.0. 5437.5 uh, goes 6. 264.5 degree Celsius. The next question, the fourth one. Just go through the question. According to the data, I have been, again, two cases uh, monotonous with my sums. Yep. I have been told that the pressure is a constant. Volume 1 is given to me as 450 ml. And temperature 1 is given to me as 27 degrees Celsius. Not allowed. So 27 plus 273 Kelvin. That makes it uh, 300 Kelvin. Fine. I have been told, find the final temperature if the volume is reduced to one third, not by one third, to one third. So directly it is going to be one third of the original volume. That is 450. Right. So if you cancel, your answer will be 150 ml. Again, I'm just writing pressure is a constant and you need to mention according to the Charles law we can say v1 upon t1 is equals to v2 upon t2 are you gonna substitute this you have 450 upon 300 is equals to 150 upon t2 ones are threes are threes are hundreds are cross multiply that means the temperature 2 is 100 kelvin now obviously Obviously, the answer needs to be reconverted back into degree Celsius. So you have 100, okay, minus 273. 
that makes it minus 173 degree Celsius. So these are the two sums based on which law guys? They are Charles law where, where pressure remains a constant. I go through this and the last set of two numericals. The fifth numerical, both the parameters temperature and pressure are changing. According to the question which you have seen, okay, just observe the question. Right, fifth question. Uh, case one, I have been told, read it cautiously. Case one is at STP. I start dancing. At STP, at STP, I know two things I have by heart. Pressure is 760 mmHg and the temperature is 273 Kelvin, which is nothing but 0 degree Celsius. I have been told, according to the question, the pressure is decreased by 50% and the volume is doubled. So let, let the initial volume be 100 ml. The volume is doubled. If the volume is doubled, can I say V2 double of 100? It's going to be 200 ml. Yes. And the pressure decreases by 50%. So can I say the pressure first was 760. Decrease means minus 50% of 760. Find temperature 2. Oh, okay, right. So uh, this, this one and cancellation and all. You get answer as 380. So according to the gas equation, it's not a gas law, it is a gas equation. The formula is P1 V1 over T1 is equals to P2 V2 over T2. Substitute 760 into V1, that's 100 upon T1, which is 273 Kelvin. It's P2, P2 is going to be 380 into 200 over T2. That's what you have to find, the final temperature. Uh, what you're going to do is 1s are, 2s are, 2 zeros cancel, 2 1 2 1s are. Everything cancels in the numerator. So can I say T2 is also 273 Kelvin and that's going to be nothing but 0 degree Celsius. So we find out the final temperature. Okay. According to the popped up question, the data is as follows. Okay, case one, case two. I've been told that the pressure reduces, reduces to 75% of the initial value. So I can say, let the pressure P1 be equal to 100 mm. The pressure 2 reduces directly to 75%. So it's not by 75%, it is straight away to 75%. There is that 75% of the original. So the new pressure is 75 mm. Hg, Hg. The volume increases by 40%. Let the initial volume, there are two assumptions, be 100 ml. The new volume increases not to 40 percent, increases by 40 percent. When there is a word by, it is the original plus or minus, it's an increase. So plus 40 percent of 100. Now that becomes 140 ml. The initial temperature is given to me as minus 10 degrees Celsius. Not allowed. Plus 273 Kelvin, that makes it 263 Kelvin. What is the final temperature? According to the gas equation, okay, I'll just continue it without here. Okay, the formula is P1 V1 over T1 is equals to P2 V2 over T2. So you substitute. P1, that's going to be 100. V1, V1 is also 100 and T1 is 263 is equals to P2. P2 is 75 into V2 is 140 over T2. Cross multiply. T2 goes up. So you get 75 into 140 into 263 over 
100 into 100. One of the zeros cancel out. Yep. Two fives are. Two sevens are. Five ones are. Five fifteens are. So your T2 answer is going to be 15 sevens are. Um, 15 sevens are how much? Nine hundred and five. 105 into 263 over 100. If you solve this, 263 into 105, 5 threes are 15, 31, 3, 10, 13, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 6, 3, 5, 1, 6, 7, 2, 2, 7, 6, point one five because it's over 100. So you have 276.15 Kelvin. Now, if you want to convert the final answer has to be converted in the degree Celsius. So minus 273. So answer is 3.15 degrees Celsius. That's for you all. So we have, we have covered all the varieties of sums and assumption sum taking 100 sum, the STP sum, the normal sum. So six questions as a crash course subject for you all for uh, Charles Boyle's and the gas equation. Hope you've understood the entire chapter thoroughly. It's a very simple chapter, a scoring one.